Hello mga kaisip mat, it's Megan Teacher Koy and welcome to Isip Mat Tutorial And for today's video, pag-usapan po natin yung ating Grade 8 Mathematics Quarter 3 Module 4 At nakamilak base po tayo Pero bago pang lahat, if you're new to my channel, please, please don't forget to subscribe And press the notification bell so that you'll be updated on my videos And guys uh, this is uh, this is the module na gagamitin po natin ito. Ito po yung itsura ng ating module. Okay, so mathematics quarter 3 module 4. And this is for grade 8. Okay? And this module is ano binigay po to ng ating division, uh, division of Bohol. So ito po yung ginagamit po natin. Okay? So ito po yung um, cover page ng ating module 4. Okay? And yung ating title na ating um, topic natin ngayon ay Triangle Congruence Postulates Okay, at ang ating competencies we have here illustrates the SAS, ASA and SSS Congruence Postulate So, nung nakaraang ano po natin discussion, na-discuss po natin doon yung ano yung tinataw natin congruent, di ba? So, the word congruent, ibig sabihin po niyan ay um, uh, the same size, the same measurement, diba? the same shape. Okay. So, if, if this triangle, kung ito po yung size niya, so, ibig sabihin, yung kabilang triangle din ay same size. So, pareho yung sukat na kanilang mga angles at saka kanilang mga sides. So, they are congruent or pareho sila. Okay. So, our objective we have here at the end of the lesson the students are expected to identify included side, included angle of a triangle. State and illustrate the SAS postulate. State and illustrate the ASA postulate. And state and illustrate the SSS postulate. Okay, so let's go to our lesson number one. Lesson number one, we have here SAS congruence postulate. So, ano po ba tong SAS? But before that, we're going to study the postulates that give some ways to show that the two triangles are congruent given less number of corresponding congruent parts. So, ibig sabihin nito, if merong isang triangle na hindi po kompleto yung ibinigay na detalye, diba? tapos meron din yung isang triangle sa kabila na hindi din kompleto yung ibinigay na detalye. So, can we say na they are congruent? Diba? So, that, that's why let us first identify the parts of a triangle in terms of their relative positions. So, pag sinabi po natin included angle, ito po, included angle, is the angle between two sides of a triangle. So, for example, we have here the illustration, di ba? Angle S. If this one is angle S, so, included angle, ibig sabihin, this side, OS, and this side, NS, di ba? Nasa gitna si angle S. Diba? Kasi between two sides. Okay. So, included side is the side common to two angles of a triangle. Common. So, ibig sabihin, um, common sa dalawang angle. For example, this one. We have here angle O and angle N. Included side ito. Sa gitna. Between angle O and angle N. We have sine, side NO or side ON. Okay, yan po yung ibig sabihin ng included side. So, we have here the illustration. Angle S is the included between side SN and side SO. Yan ba? Angle S, included between side SN and side SO. Angle O is included angle between OS and ON. This is our angle O. So, OS and ON. Nasa gitna si angle O. Angle N is included between NS and NO. This is our angle N. This is the side NS and side NO. Same also with the sides. We have your side SO, side SO, diba? Included side between angle S and angle O. Diba? This is our angle O and our, our angle S. So this side is the included side. And angle ON, I uh, know, I mean side ON. We have your side ON. Included side between angle um angle O and angle N. And we have also the last one, side S N, included between angle S and angle N. 
Okay, let's proceed. So we have here the SAS or Side Angle Side Congruence Postulate. So ibig sabihin ng SAS ay Side Angle Side. Okay, so Congruence Postulate. If two sides and an included angle of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So, ibig sabihin nito, kung meron pong dalawang side, di ba? At saka included angle. Pag sinabi natin included angle, yung angle is between two sides, di ba? Nasa gitna, sa dalawang side. Okay? Is congruent or are congruent to the corresponding two sides. Meron ding dalawang sides at saka included angle dun sa kabilang triangle, makapareho sila ng sukat or measurement, then, the triangles are congruent. Okay, so we have here, example, we have this triangle and we have also this triangle. Diba? So, side MA, we have this one, is congruent to side TI. Diba? Meron pa tayong markings dito. Then, side MR is congruent to side TN. Okay? And then, Angle M is congruent to angle T. This one. So, this is a side, angle side congruence postulate because two sides, di ba? Dalawang side, ito, and this one, and an included angle, yung angle na sa gitna, ay makapareho pa sila ng sukat or measurement sa dalawang side dito din sa isang ang triangle at saka yung included angle ng triangle na to, di ba? Same measurements, ibig sabihin, these triangles are congruent. So, triangle AMR is congruent to triangle ITN by SAS congruence postulate. So, hindi, hindi po, uh, ibig sabihin na dapat kumplituhin natin yung detalye. So, kung meron lang dalawang side at saka included angle na given, Tapos, may dalawang side din at saka included angle sa kabilang triangle na given na makapareho sila ng measurement. Therefore, we can say that the two triangles are congruent. Okay. So, that is the side angle side congruence postulate. Then, let's go to our lesson number two. We have here the ASA or the ASA congruence postulate. So, ASA stands for angle side angle. Okay, angle side angle congruence postulate. If two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding two angles and an included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. So, ibig sabihin nito, pag merong dalawang angles at saka isang included side dito sa isang triangle na makapareho ng measurement sa dalawang angles din, at saka included side sa isang triangle, therefore, we can say these two triangles are congruent. So, we have here the illustration. We have this triangle. Diba? Meron dalawang angles na given at saka included side. Diba? And this angle is congruent to this angle. At saka bilang triangle, diba? At saka this angle also is congruent sa... This angle and this side is congruent naman dito sa side na to sa kabilang triangle. So, we can say that these two triangles are congruent okay, by ASA postulate. ASA, it means angle side angle. So, if these two angles and an included side is congruent to the two angles and an included side of the other triangle, therefore, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. Okay? So, no need to to give the details, di ba? Buong detalye para masasabi po natin na itong dalawang triangles are congruent. So, by ASA congruence postulate, angle side angle congruence postulate, ma-determine na po natin na these two triangles or the two triangles are congruent. Okay? So, that's for the lesson 2. Angle side angle congruence postulate. So we have the example. If angle A is congruent to angle E, okay, then side JA 
is congruent to side ME and angle J is congruent to angle M. So, this is the asa angle side angle. Okay? Then, triangle JAY is congruent to triangle MEL by asa congruence. Postulate. So, we have here angle A. Okay, angle A is congruent to angle E. Dito sa kabilang triangle. Diba? Then, side JA, this one is congruent to side MA. This one. And angle J is congruent to angle M. So, this is asa angle side angle congruence postulate. Therefore, we can say that triangle JAY is congruent to triangle MEL. Okay. So, that's it. So, and then, let's go to our lesson number 3. We have here SSS or triple S congruence postulate. So, SSS stands for side, side, side congruence postulate. If the three sides of one triangle are congruent to the three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Ibig sabihin nito, kung merong tatlong side dito sa isang triangle na to, hindi ba, ang tatlong sides nila, ay congruent dun sa tatlong sides din sa isang triangle, therefore, we can say that these two triangles are congruent using the side, side, side congruence postulate. So, we have illustration. Okay, this side. Okay, this side is congruent to this side. You can see the markings. Diba? And this side is congruent to this side. And this side also is congruent to this side. So, by side, side, side congruence postulate, we can say that these two triangles are congruent. So, no need to, to identify or to find the measurement of the angles. Pag given yung tatlong side, di ba? At saka meron din tatlong side sa kabilang triangle na magkapareho sila ng measurement, therefore, automatic, they are congruent. Okay, so that's for the SSS congruence postulate. So we have here the example. We have here the triangle. Triangle JAY and triangle MEL. So, side JA or side JA, that's one. Side JA is congruent to side ME. This one. And side AY is congruent to side EL. And side JY is congruent to side ML. So, therefore, these two triangles or triangle JAY is congruent to triangle MEL by side, side, side congruence postulate. Okay, so that's for our lesson or module 4 ng ating grade 8 mathematics quarter 3. And sana po naintindihan nyo po yung short discussion po natin. Okay, yung triangle congruence postulate. And for more videos, stay tuned lang po tayo. And don't forget to subscribe sa ating channel Easy Math Tutorial. And once again, this is Teacher Koy. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.